Welcome back, everybody, to another episode here on Quick Street Corner. It is another episode here of the Farm Simulator Network Experience. And, uh, yeah, you know what, what I've been doing in the last couple weeks? Trying to get this tractor stuck from out from underneath this road. Man, PennDOT is getting worse with their road keeps. You guys want to see an impression of uh, Quick's family trying to get up out of bed? There you go. Yeah, I don't want to get up. Not today. No. <laughs> today we're not going to be talking about that or we're going to oh there we go we got it out yay today we're going to add some animals here to the quick street uh quick seed and feed so stick around give a like comment subscribe to this youtube channel and let's get to it all right so here we're sitting on uh server number 14 of farm simulator network if you're interested in this multiplayer experience there's uh, some description notes and links for you guys to sign up down below. But this is server 14, Madison County, which is a server I've been living on since December of 2019. That's pre-pandemic, baby. Uh, right now, we are taking a look at this piece of land that I just... Not, I, yeah, I guess I could say I recently picked this up. Field number 94 and 93 here. Oop. Okay, now we're just bumping over into... Uh, this is Mr. Moose's from Mr. Moose uh, Twitch, fellow friend, fellow Twitch, well, he's a Twitch partner, he's a fellow friend. I'm not a fellow par Twitch partner, not not yet, and probably not for a long, 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 long time. He has also recently added cows the same day that I'm adding cows. So Madison County is gonna become a mecca for dairy cows. So I just wanna take a look at uh, what his cow pens look like and kind of see what he's got going on before I I make the permanent decision and terraform my land and uh, maybe even mess a lot of stuff up. I don't know. I, he's, a, he's a very uh, expert, a very large expert at uh, farm sim, so I want to take a look at his setup here. Alright, let's go back over to my area. Let's uh, teleport over to uh, our nice little case tractor here. And we do have, there is a little bit of wackadoo uh, terraforming that has happened already. We already did a little bit of flattening. Because we're, we're prepping. Um, this this area was a lot slopier than I anticipated. I wanted to find a nice flat area to plop this cow pen down. And while doing so, I mistakenly added a cow pen down in a, an actual arable field. As you can see, we have this... Uh, like, I, I guess we could build a helicopter pad here. I don't know. We're gonna have to plow this area. I, I could swore I hit escape and it just plopped down a modded cow pen that I did not want. So, this is the area I wanted. So, we, we kind of flattened it. We uh, made it even with the road here. Yeah, now we're gonna go and let's, you know, animal pens. There we go. We don't want the modded one, we're gonna go with the default large cow pasture. We're not going with the modding welt. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper and I, I don't know, I, I, I just want the simplicity of this cow pasture for right now. Maybe after the FSN map revamp. Yeah, nope, don't pop it down there again. Spent good money filling in this area. Little. Uh, Got a little bit of a cliff there. We might have to add some fences so I don't accidentally drive any vehicles off the edge there into the crops. All right, so right now we're looking at the the area where the straw, slurry, well, we were, straw, slurry, and manure go. So I'm debating if I want that towards the back, but then you really can't see any of my cows when you're driving down the road. So maybe we're gonna... Uh, I don't know, it's a it's a catch-22. You can see the cows while you're driving down the road, but then you're gonna just see this huge pile of cow dung as well, uh, just stocking up, because I have no use. I really do not want to fertilize my land using the slurry or manure. If you guys have ever done that in Farm Simulator, it is painful. It takes forever. Um, it, it goes by very quickly. And you're gonna have to keep refilling your your spreaders or yeah your yeah manure spreaders your your shit tossers uh, a lot. So even if I do the fields just cross the street, it's gonna be a lot of back and forth. So without a BGA or a, a cell point for for this stuff on this map yet, it's the, the poop is gonna pile up. 
Right, we want to kind of we don't want to push it too far back so on the back side there that you kind of see on the right hand side of the screen towards the edge of the cliff that's going to be the feed feed area so that's where you know the the hay the tmr that we're going to get into uh making a little bit later on and gra uh, grass and oh yeah silage so there, there's three different food sources we can pop there so no we don't want to extend that out anymore, so we're going to try to get, we're going to bring it a little bit closer to the uh, the road here. I might have to extend some areas out towards the left on the. Oh, oh okay, that's that's where it's going to live now. You plop it down, and you have to stick with it. There is no Control Z, no undo button. Uh, so we are going to have to extend out because we're going to drive the vehicles around the backside here because. Right over here is where we're gonna pick up the milk, and yeah, that's that's too close. We got a little bit of space. All right, we can uh, we're gonna get that landscaping tool back out. That's that's tight. All right, so we are going to use the yeah the level area. So you just click on an area that you want to make uh, the the right elevation, hold it down, and you're just kind of gonna drag across. And yeah, it's not going to be pretty, but we're going to have... We need to also make sure there's some area back here for snow. Because if we do get a lot of snow here on Madison County, we're going to need a place to put it. Yeah, we're not going to uh, just... As well as just extend it all the way out to this field here. We even might even park the, uh, the milk tanker back there or something. Right, I used to be... Definitely afraid of the landscaping tool because I've screwed up a few areas on this multiplayer map. Which, thank God, oh, who's coming in here? Time to drink. It's the FS Sink and Drink game. Oh, as I was saying, I always was afraid of using the landscaping tool. There's probably about two areas here on Madison County that are abysmal. You, you, they are not even your the, the world's best four-wheel driving Jeep can get through some of the areas that I destroyed. So luckily there is a revamp coming up later on this uh, year where all the maps are kind of going to be reset, some new cell points added, a lot of new crops being added to these uh, FSN servers. And that means they're going to reset the map back to its original state, which means any landscaping that we did, even my mistakes, are going to be reset, which is good. All right, this looks good. We're gonna easily pull vehicles around here to the back side. And this is it where we drop off the cows. That's where we drop off the water, which they are gonna need a lot of water. I think that's pretty good. All right. Maybe we're gonna we're add a few fences here, probably not in this area here, but definitely on the back side. Just in case if there is some server lag, we don't want our tractor or any of our vehicles launching off the cliff into whatever crops we're going to be planting on the backside here. I, we might even actually just make that a grass field because we are going to need a lot of grass. We're going to need to make a lot of silage, a lot of hay. Uh, maybe we might smooth. Uh, yeah, we're we'll adding some more to this. Slide, spin, spin. Before, while we're waiting for the revamp, we are only going to have one cow pasture down to start off. It's going to be strictly dairy. And we might even, once they start giving birth, we might have to add a second one just so we can you know, separate the uh, the old Bessies from the young ones. Then after the revamp, we might uh, just go full-blown animal business. You know, just lines of uh, cow pastures, sheep pastures, uh... Maybe not sheep. I don't know. If we do sheep again, it's going to end up just being strictly meat. Dealing with all the pallets of wool, it's... Uh, they're, all, you know, unloading hundreds of pallets. I'm still not good with the, the pallet jacks on, on this game, so we might deter away from that. All right, let's see. Where is my vehicle? We need to pick up the truck. I can easily just, you know, do the cheating way and have the animal dealer deliver the cows, but... That's like, I think it's like $200 delivery fee per cow. 
and this cow pasture can hold 200 so we're gonna be a little bit cheap and we're gonna do the work that means we are going to I think it's still down at the shop all right, we're going to drive down to the shop here, and we recently bought a large animal trailer. I think it can hold up to 12 cows? 12 or 14 cows. It's a, one of the larger modded animal trailers that we have here on FSN, so... All right, there's our new cow pasture, not too far away from our home base, which is really good. And everything that I own here on Surfer 14 is up here in the north western corner of the map like this field over to our left that is also more than likely that's also going to be a grass area and we're going to put down some silage bunkers in there because there's a, a fence that goes around the whole place and to get my combines in and out of there it's a bit of a hassle off to the right is our water tanker which is good that's right, it's down here, because we we used the animal trailer to deal with uh, our sheep problem that we had here. We're getting a little bit uh, overrun, so we kind of lighten the herd. There's some old ones that we had to get rid of, so we're going to pick this up. And just right down the road is the animal dealer. As you guys can notice from watching my earlier videos, we did get rid of all the Peterbilt uh, trucks that had the uh, Jake brakes on it because they were just, they, they were getting annoying. They were too loud. The neighbors were starting to complain. So we went with, uh, I can't even remember the brand that we went with. And we're not with the man trucks or the Iventcos. It, it'll kind of, the Tatos, Teatos. They handle great. They, they they turn easily and they, they are quiet we won't wake up any of the newborn babies here on Madison County there won't be any Karens calling our farm be like why are you doing this at 3 o'clock in the morning because Karen that's when a farmer's life starts oh I think drove by the entrance where are you going I don't think, uh, I think you forgot where we're going. Clearly, where, where are, yeah, you figured it out. Good Lord. Shh, be quiet phone. We're recording here. YouTube time. I think we we clearly forgot where the animal dealer is. What are you doing? Let's see how long it takes me to realize it again. Oh, what a maroon. You only have a map down there in the corner of your screen for a reason. We're looking for the... Gotta go past 106. It's the driveway with the three mailboxes. On you, you, you go through this like every other time when you drive down to the animal dealer quick. Good lord. There we go. Wait. Bah, bah, bah. There we go. Good, good, good. Gosh. Alright, so we're not going to start off with 200 cows right away. We're not going to fill it up because we want to leave a little bit of space for the first round of birth. So it's going to take these cows, was it nine months? Which I think is 10 regular real life Earth days for our first uh, calf to be born. 
And that's a day after that is when that mother cow will start producing milk. So unfortunately, it's going to take almost two weeks before we start getting some good milk production here. We are going with the Holsteins because these are the queen of dairy. A little bit more pricier, but their, their milk output is from some other videos I've seen. I think it's like 10% better. I mean, it depends on... You know, you got to keep them healthy so that you got to give them the right proper food. So, which is why we need to give them TMR. Uh, yeah, we, we don't want the Ashire. Those are the cheaper uh, government milk subsidies. We, we want to go with the higher end organic. So we're going to load it up with the Holsteins. We got money. We're, we're good to go. This farmer is flush with cash. All right, so we can only do 10. Let's go confirm that because... You know how many times I've thought I filled up this animal trailer or emptied the animal trailer and then drove away only to realize once I got all the way back to my other destination be like, oh man, I did not hit that space bar. I did not confirm. All right, let's go all the way back. All right, let's see if I remember if I have to make a left or a right out of this driveway to get home. Goodness gracious. how to get home good job quick all right while we're driving back up to the dairy farm we're gonna go over real quick some of the food requirements so I mentioned there are three different food sources that we can give to these cows so if you go when we go and look at the animal menu there will be three different feed bars well there's other than the water and a clean and then there's straw, which we're not going to deal with right away. You add straw to the pen and their little their pee pee with slurry will then turn into poo poo, which is the manure. We're not going to deal with that one right away because we're going to have to shred a whole bunch of straw. I'll deal with that later. So the food source after the, the water, we always got to keep them well fed, which we're going to put a water pump in there just to make sure there is a minimum amount of water in there. But we will make sure it is constantly filled. So they have three main uh, food sources. They have their primary, secondary, and traditionary choices. They're not too picky. They'll eat whatever is put in front of them. But if their primary is there, they're going to eat through all that first before they go to, them, to their secondary and then their traditionary, their third choice. Depending on what food you feed them will change how much milk that they're going to produce. Now you constantly give them their primary food source, which is going to be the TMR, which is a, what is it, 40, 40%, 40%, 20% 40 mix of silage, hay, and straw. So we're going to have to buy a special tool for that. And we're going to drop in these first guys off here at the pasture. That they're in here. We probably should put some water in just to make sure they don't get a little antsy while waiting around for all these deliveries. Kind of forget what what order I did it in. So the TMR, let's go back to food while I'm driving around here. TMR, once we get that mix and add that in, that's their that's their primary source. They are going they're going to love you guys for that putting that in their pen. The next choice, there we're going to look at the menu here. Here, here's our animal pen here. You buy more from the animal dealer. Yeah, they're looking pretty happy. They're grazing on the grass that's already in there. That is just kind of a visual. That's really not going to affect any of their dietary plans, unfortunately. I think there are mods out there that have like an open pasture. Milk. I don't think we're going to show you the animal menu properly here. So after the TMR, their secondary choice is grass, or not grass, it is silage slash hay. So that's basically just dried up grass. The hay is dried up grass, silage is grass that you put into a bunker and you let it rot. Here we go, see? There's their water, there you got their cleanliness and the straw ones, and then right down below we have the TMR, hay and silage, and then finally grass. 
Grass is their third choice. They'll eat it if it's there. You're really not going to get much of, you actually might get less of your normal milk production. Not entirely sure, but we're going to fill all three of these up. Grass is going to be kind of that emergency backup, just in case if I'm not on for a day or two, they will have plenty of food there, which is kind of a nice thing. Most of these other animals only have one food choice and you're kind of stuck. You know, after two days, that food will be depleted. This is going to take, from my calculations, five to six days. So that's good. So for today's purpose, we are just going to get started with, uh, I'm going to go pick up one of our grain bins here. Looks like it is filled up with grass from what we were cutting the other day in some previous episodes. Go ahead and check that out on the playlist here down below. Uh, we're going to get them started. We don't want them to be uh, starving. So we're going to drop off all the, this grass here. I think I do have a hayloft somewhere. We're going to drop in some hay bales. And we'll get some water in there. And this way when I go back to picking up more, because we have nine more truckloads of cows to pick up today. Don't worry, we'll be doing that off camera. We're just kind of showing you the initial stages of getting started. Yep, see, they're already moving away. Here you go. I see, it doesn't take that much grass. That's a 45,000 liter container, and it's already filled up. So of course, the more cows we put in there, the more grass it's going to take. So you can't have like two cows in there and drop in 300,000 liters of all food sources and then be like, all right, I'll see you in the next time we vote for a US president. Not going to work that way. And also starting off here, we're going to have to definitely get this swapped out. This tiny little watering tank, it's only 17,000 liters. This is not gonna fly. This is gonna be okay for day one. We'll, we'll dump off what we have here for the sheep. But we're gonna have to pick up the larger tanker, which is 50,000 liters. It's the largest water tanker currently here for FSN. And that still is, we're gonna take, I think per my calculations, once we get our 120 cows in here to start, it's gonna be six to seven truckloads with the large tanker of water just to fill it up. And it takes almost five minutes to fill up the water tanker at the water tower. So get ready. It's it's going to be on the edge of your seat, white knuckle gameplay here watching. Well, you actually can't even see the water going in the trailer. You're just going to hear the, the whooshing sound of water. So hopefully you don't have to pee. There, we're just going to drive up through the uh, little wooded area. We're eventually going to make a, a dirt service road to go up here. This is the, uh, the water fill station. And this is just right down the road, so it's not going to be too bad. Um, maybe we might get two water tankers, because it's going to take just as long also to dump it into the cow pen. So maybe we'll do like a back and forth. One will be filling up while the other one's unloading, and then we're just going to, you know, we're going to swap. I don't know, we'll figure something out. Or I'm just going to pay some poor schlub of contractor to come on to the server and take care of it for me. Or I'm just going to talk Drakkit into doing it. He's always good for helping out on the server. And we'll let him use a lot of my equipment, so it's a fair trade. Alright, so you can see their food bar is already filled up with grass. They're kind of eating away. up the landscaping so milk we're also going to take a look at oh see yeah, we can't sell any of their pee pee or poo poo unfortunately that, that would be a great revenue stream we're gonna have to wait for hopefully after the revamp we're all getting uh, either placeable BGAs or a BGA cell cell point so Moose and I will have something to do with all this cow product. 
but it'll drive a little bit faster. Always when a hose is missing, it just does not perform well. So that's pretty much going to be the end of this video here. We're just going to drop off the water and then I'm going to shut it down while I take the other nine trailers and fill up all the food. But you guys pretty much get a good idea of how to get a cow farm started. It's pretty easy. Uh, you got to make sure you have a lot of product on the back end because you're going to need a lot of you're going to need lots of grass to start off with. So make sure you got some money for a good lawnmower, your silage bunkers. You're going to need a TMR mixing wagon. You need something to transport water. But once you have enough capital to get all the equipment you need it, eventually you're going to get a lot of milk. And it's going to pay off big time in dividends. Uh, I'm going to easily make probably $500,000, $600,000 a uh, year, which is 12 days here on FSN, just in selling the dairy. And then every three years, I'll probably sell off a couple of these cows. These cows will give birth to male cows, which we'll get rid of right away. So they're, they're at birth, we'll probably go for about $800, $900 a head. So we might actually crunch the numbers a little bit. We might just not do any arable crops. We might turn all 300 acres here on Madison that I own into gigantic grass fields and just go hog wild, I mean cow crazy, with a dairy farm operation. Alright, but that's it. Thank you guys for coming down here for another episode here on Quick Street Corner for the Quick Scene Feed Farm Simulator Network experience. If you love the content here and you want to see more of this, as well as some other gaming content, please give a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe, ring that bell, you will see tons of other stuff coming out. And here's just that truck, tra yeah, tractor from the beginning dancing around for you again. Until next time, see you guys on the flippity flip. Peace out.